Let's go to page 446, number 7. So number 7 says, The sum of a number and its reciprocal is 34 over 15. Find, find the number. So again, you've got to translate exactly what it says. Right? It says the sum. The sum means plus. And it says the sum of a number. So that's in. right? The sum of a number and it's reciprocal. Reciprocal means you flip it over. So that's what this means, right? So the sum of a number and it's reciprocal is, means equal, uh, 34 over 15. So that's your equation. So now you have to solve. So you need to apply what you know from before. You need to multiply everything by LCD. So your LCD is equal to 15N. So multiply by LCD. 15n, 15n. So this one does not cancel, so it gives you 15n squared. This one, it cancels, so it be plus 15. This one, the 15 cancel, so you get 34n. So this one is not too difficult. You just need to understand what reciprocal means, right? So again, the sum of a number and its reciprocal is 34 over 15. And after that, you're going to solve. So that's going to minus 34n. So minus 34n. So you're going to get 15n squared minus 34n plus 15 equal to 0. So now you have to solve this. So the, this one, the massive part is kind of big, so you have to be patient. you got to work it through. So you're going to be negative 34, and then the massive product is going to be 225. Right, it's, going to be, again, it's going to be 15 times 15. Okay, so now you got to work it out. Right? So you start with, now because it's negative, so you have to use negative 1, comma, negative 2, 2, 5. Then you go to 2, 2 does not work. Try negative 3, so it'd be negative uh, 7, 5. Okay, now you go to, now notice all the even is no good, so try 5. So it'd be negative 45. Okay. So you cannot do any of the even. Even is no good. So try negative 9. Okay, so get your calculator. 225 divided by 9 equal negative 25. Okay, so that's it. So it's not too bad. Okay. So now you've got to do your massive product, right? So if, if you start with n and 15 n, it's not going to work. Because none of this is multiple of 15. Right? 15 times something equal to 9 cannot. 15 times something equal to 25 cannot. So you have to go to the next one. So try the next one, it would be 3n and 3n. So this one, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 3 and 5. So 3n and 5n. So this would be the inside, right? So it would be minus 5, right? 5 times negative 5 gives you 25, the inside. This is the outside, so it would be minus 3. So this is not as obvious, so you got to set equal to 0 to solve. So you got 3n minus 5 equal to 0. Or 5n minus 3 equal to 0. So you, you go and solve. So plus 5 on both sides. So you got 3n equal to 5. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. So n equal to 5 over 3. Or this side over here, you plus the 3. So you got 5n equal to 3. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. So n equal to 3 over 5. I'm, I, I go kind of fast because you're supposed to know this by, you know, by heart already. I mean, all these are very simple, right? We did this a long time you know, ago, and we've been doing this for a long time, right? So the key is this. Learn how to translate. Once you, get trans, once you translate and you multiply common denominator to get rid of the fraction, make it equal to zero, do your massive product, and then you set it equal to zero, you solve. Okay. Okay. So... So go ahead and do number seven and eight.